Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. In this video we're going to talk about a consumer alert uh, that we want to put out. Uh, the American Petroleum Institute uh, is aiming a lawsuit at Bullseye Lubricants for alleged counterfeiting, trademark infringement, trademark dilution, false advertising, and unfair competition. Uh, the lawsuit was filed in U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Indi Indiana against Bullseye Lubricants in association with Bullseye Automotive Products Incorporated uh, and company president Carlos Silva uh, and as a seller of motor oil based in Chicago Ridge, Illinois. Uh, in the lawsuit, API claims that Bullseye knowingly deceived customers and consumers by labeling its motor oil with false API accreditation. API adds that Bullseye Motor Oil neither meets performance standards that warrant API certification, nor has a license to use any API trademark. Uh, API declined to offer any additional comments. Um, Bullseye allegedly labeled some or all of its products with what the API believes are counterfeit imitations of two distinct API logos, along with false claims and misleading statements suggesting that the products met specific API service category performance levels or were otherwise appropriate for current model automobiles, the, the complaint charges. Furthermore, API asserts that the bullseye brand of motor oil will likely damage automobile engines due to misrepresenting its quality. Um, this is just an example of some of the things that consumers are uh, constantly being subjected to where we have uh, oil companies out there that are intentionally and purposefully misleading customers and consumers about the quality of the product that they are selling. Uh, and that uh, misrepresentation and that fraud uh, ends up damaging the engine or transmission or uh, other components in your automobiles. Uh, and in many cases, people buy these oils because they appear to be cheap. Uh, well, they may be cheap in cost when you purchase them, but they're dang sure not cheap when you pay the price to restore your vehicle back to proper operating condition with a new engine or a new transmission or whatever. So once again, it's buyer beware. You get what you pay for. Uh, so when you start dealing with these, uh, you know, unscrupulous companies out there uh, and it appears as though bullseye is one of those we'll find out when the lawsuit comes through uh, and, and it's all settled but that's the allegation at this point uh, the the facts to back up these claims come from the petroleum quality institute of america uh, pqia is an organization that goes out and routinely samples uh, oil from companies claiming different certifications. And so PQIA has been sampling uh, bullseye oils now for several years uh, and started issuing warnings back in 2011 that they suspected that there was a quality problem with their with bullseye lubricants oils. Uh, and in 2000, uh, here's, yeah, in April of 2012, uh, PQIA published or purchased a third bullseye sample in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, which yielded test results that led PQIA to issue a don't buy alert. Uh, you just can't get much stronger than that uh, when, when you've got an organization whose only job in life is to uh, sample oil from companies who are claiming certifications and they say, hey, don't buy this stuff. Uh, and yet people are still buying it. Uh, the, the problem is the message is not getting out. Uh, and consumers are not being told about this and companies like Bullseye are allowed to continue to sell and market inferior quality products. Uh, PQIA's testing uh, uh, revealed that not only does the oil that Bullseye is putting on the market today not meet current specifications, it basically doesn't meet any specification for any API level of oil ever uh, certified. So all the way back to the 1930s, uh, when we had uh, API SA uh, coated oil, which basically contains no additives, uh, that the bullseye oil doesn't meet any of these uh, certifications. 
So when you put that in your car, it's going to start causing problems immediately uh, because there's, it is a, uh, for example, the oil may be on the bottle. It may show that the oil is supposed to be a 5W30 or a 10W30. And in PQIA's analysis, the oil was 75% uh, lighter or thinner uh, than what was printed on the bottle. So it has nowhere close to the, the required viscosity. Uh, and then it's, it contains little or no additives uh, that are going to keep your engine clean. They're going to protect it from oxidation. They're going to protect it from rust. Uh, it's just, you know, it's like pouring... Uh, vegetable oil into your engine and hoping that it uh, does a good job of lubricating. Well, it won't. Uh, so it will cause immediate problems. So if you are anywhere in the country where bullseye lubricants, or bullseye motor oil is sold, uh, please uh, do not buy that oil until we get this uh, straightened out, get this lawsuit straightened out. Uh, you know, with PQIA issuing their don't buy uh, that's not coming from me. That's coming from PQIA, who's who has the authority to issue these types of warnings. Uh, so, uh, but do not buy that oil. Do not use it in your vehicles. Do not use it in anything. Uh, it's it's not fit for your lawnmower. It's not fit for anything for uh, lubricating. Um, so just leave it on the shelf and uh, don't make that mistake. It'll be a very expensive mistake that you won't forget. Uh, unfortunately. Um, okay, that's it for uh, this story. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm sad to have to report this kind of stuff. Uh, I pulled this information today from uh, the Wednesday, August 28, 2013 uh, lube report, which I receive as an email on a weekly basis. Um, and this article was written by Joe Beaton. Um, and the title of the article is API Ames Lawsuit at Bullseye. Uh, so if you want to read any more about that, uh, look up uh, Lubes. It's a Lube Report is a, a weekly publish, uh, or weekly report from the same people who publish Lubes and Greases magazine. Um, so just check them out on the web. Uh, but a uh, very sad story uh, that we've got a company out there doing this kind of uh, unscrupulous marketing and, and trying to take advantage of the American consumer. Um, so again, this is Tom Brown. This is uh, synthetic oil info. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing a high quality, the best oil out there, AMS oil, uh, go to our website, uh, www.minutemanperformance.com. Um, we'll also post that below the video here. Uh, and we're also on Facebook at synthetic oil info. Uh, please go there, like us, uh, leave comments, uh, ask questions. Our email is info at minutemanperformance.com. Again, our website is minutemanperformance.com. You can go there and order AMSOIL products and have them shipped straight to your house. If you're going to buy $100 worth of AMSOIL products in a year, I recommend you become a preferred customer. Uh, that allows you to buy at wholesale price and uh, have those products shipped straight to your house. Uh, no minimum order requirements. Uh, order whatever you want uh, as often as you want. Uh, you will have to pay a you know a small shipping fee for those uh, products to be shipped to you, uh, but it'll come straight to your door and you can install them yourself or have your favorite installer put them in for you. Um, but uh, that's it for now. We'll uh, see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.